Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamie, aka Rick here, bringing you part 15 of my GTA 4 Let's Play. In this episode, as you can see, I meet Dimitri at the warehouse with uh, Little, Jacobs, Little Jacob as backup. And uh, after a little bit of uh, talking, turns out that uh, Bulgarin is uh, in Liberty City, is the guy who I owe money to. Um, back from Europe so yeah he's here he's a dangerous man and he doesn't really like me that much so yes yeah, doesn't go as planned I don't really get the money for the hit on Faustine I actually do Dimitri a favor by getting him out of the way because he was trying to help me but yeah um, so yeah we have a firefight in here uh, Dimitri and Bulgarin get away me and Jacob are left to like clear up some of his like, henchmen basically and, uh, after that, um, Jacob tells me to lay low until like this is cleared over and we've decided what we're going to do. I get a phone call from Roman and uh, he sounds distressed and uh, I go and meet up with him. He's hiding in the boot of his car. Which, uh, you know, it's not the first time I've found him hiding somewhere. It's a bit out of the ordinary. Last time it was in a, a dumpster. This time it's in the boot of his car. Uh, he says he wants to go back to the apartment to pick up some stuff. And when we get there, it's on fire. So then we go to the taxi depot, and that's on fire as well. So he phones Mallory, and uh, her cousin's got an empty flat. So we go there, and uh, we're going to live there for the time being. And uh, right at the end, I go and visit Manny, which is uh, someone Mallory wants me to go and see. You know, he needs a bit of work done. So yeah, I go and see him right at the end. That's what happens in this that episode. Uh, in this episode I'm going to be talking about uh, what I'd have put it's probably my best friends and uh, how they relate to my the gaming and that that I do first one uh, is Genesis she's, he goes by um, I met him in primary school first of all uh, we didn't get on fantastically I wouldn't say in primary school I mean like I didn't know him that well i say back then no, we didn't see eye to eye a couple of times. But, um, you know, after primary school, I left that primary school, went to a different one. So I obviously didn't speak to him for ages. And then uh, in year 10 of high school, he was in my maths class. Or well, quite a few of my classes, because we were both in top sets for a couple of things. So yeah, um, he was in my class, and uh, I sat next to him in maths. And, uh, you know, we started talking, and uh, we actually became really good friends. So after... The whole primary school thing, not seeing eye to eye, actually, we had a lot in common, we found out. And uh, most of our maths lessons were like, obviously talking about games and stuff. Because at that point I didn't play live, I just played single player. And uh, he was, you know, playing uh, Xbox Live, he had a, he was in a clown and everything. So yeah, we used to talk about that, and talk about single player games. And uh, we made up uh, a lot of things about Pac-Man, which <laughs> It's quite funny at the time. Just like we're drawing little pictures of different pack men. So jetpack was one of the uh, the highlights for me. It's basically a pack man with a jetpack on. And uh, instead of pack being spelt normally, it was just P A C. Little play on words, but yeah. So we, you know, we done that in maths. We just talked quite a bit, obviously. Still got reasonably good grades. Well, I did, and so did he. So, you know, doesn't hurt all the time in school talking about random stuff. But yeah, um, over the next two years, obviously, while we were in maths together, we so we became quite good friends. We used to go around to quite a bit, and uh, we used to play COD and uh, Halo quite a bit. Uh, to start with, it was Call of Duty all the time, because I hadn't really played Halo that much at this point. So yeah, it was Call of Duty. We obviously couldn't go on live, which was a bit annoying, because it was COD 4 in, at that time, and uh, you couldn't use a guest on uh, Xbox Live, so he used to do some private matches and then uh, I used to watch him play it while I, you know, I was on his computer, that's how I found WoW. He was, one day I went over there and uh, he was in the middle of a game battles match with his clan and uh, I jumped on his computer, played a bit of WoW, started a new character as a Drain Eye Warrior, I think it was at the time. Yeah, I played a bit of that. And since then, I haven't really stopped playing it, which is quite a bad thing, but yeah. So, he got me into WoW, first of all, and uh, and Halo as well, and Xbox Live in general, so. 
is our main inspiration for where I am today, to be honest. But yeah, so, yeah, we used to play COD, Halo, and WoW quite a lot. That was during revision times, for exams. Which uh, probably wasn't the best idea, but as I said before, still got good grades in my GCSEs. So, you know, it's all good. Halo is a good revision tool. That's what we learnt from that. So yeah, um, while we were playing Halo and stuff on the Xbox, we used to listen to music, obviously, on his PC and watch Machinimas, which are uh, main ones done by Digital Fear, were like, uh, It's a Wonderful Live was a good one. Obviously, uh, Master Chief Sucks at Halo is fantastic. We watched most of them. And another one, Dude Where's My Mount, which was a World of Warcraft Machinima. Which is also really good, so yeah. We watched those videos quite a lot. We repeated them regularly as we were playing games. So that was that was always fun. Yeah, and uh, uh, he's one of his clan mates, which uh, I also got good friends with, Headstock. So we used to play Cod Halo like in together. So back in those days, Cod Four had uh, Team Tactical, which was a three v three playlist. So we used to jump on quite a bit, you know, just play together. Unless we had our fourth or fifth member, and obviously we uh, we jumped on with them as well. So you know, but if we didn't, we just done Team Tactical three v three, which I miss a lot in the newer ones. So Team Tactical, you know, it got higher. It just went four v four, I think it is now. Which you know, we we like the three v three format. And in Halo, we used to play MLG quite a bit. We used to get a random guy queue up on his own. He used to join our team. Sometimes we got alright people. Sometimes we got people that played like really seriously and uh, judged us if we weren't talking strats all the time. Because when we went on played games, we used to joke about all the time. We never went on and played for, like seriously. We always used to laugh about, have jokes, you know, all that good stuff while we were playing. Which is a lot better way of playing it because you actually enjoy it and the idea of a game is to enjoy it, believe it or not. Some people don't believe that, but yeah. So yeah, we always used to have a laugh. At one point, our clan was called True Story, which uh, which was out of, I think it was A Shark's Tale, I think it was, a film where the little shrimp is uh, telling the sharks about his life and uh, about his little kids and everything. I'll put the video in the description, if I can find it, of that, which is uh, really funny. It's got to be honest, little shrimp telling about his life to these sharks before they're going to eat him. And yeah, that was what our clan was actually named after. It's called True Story. So yeah, that was that was pretty funny. But uh, after that, we changed our name to a couple of things. We went through a few that weren't all that great names. And we've got One Winged Angel now, which is uh, what we've got. So yeah, I'm um, OWA Rick, obviously. But yeah, so that's we've got it's just us three at the moment. We're not doing that much so uh, Genesis is doing his exams at the moment so you know once he's finished his exams we're gonna get back together and start practicing together playing some game battles matches probably just for, just for laughs like, like the old times that like we used to we haven't done it for a few years so obviously we've all been at college it's pretty hectic to actually uh, play uh, games like schedule time we're all in because I work full time and they go to college, so, you know, I'm not here when they're at college, or I am here when they're at college, sorry, and by the time they get home, I'm obviously working till quite late, and then they go to bed a bit earlier, because they've got to get up early for college in the morning, so at the moment, it's not really working, so we can't really get much time to practice at the moment, so yeah, once their exam's finished up, then we'll start practicing again. Yeah, so, Headstock, uh, yeah, we talk about StarCraft 2 quite a lot, and uh, WoW, because we both play them most days. He used to play WoW a lot, but since he's got StarCraft 2, he's kind of forgot about WoW a little bit. But yeah, before we used to play WoW together, all the time. Uh, he geared up my first 80 with me, he helped me gear it up. So I transferred to his server when I hit 80. Uh, race changed and everything, because he was Horde, I was Alliance previously. But yeah, and uh, he helped me gear up through uh, ICC, he got me into tier 9 within like a few days I think it was. So I had the uh, the robe already, and uh, the shoulders, 
I think it was the shoulders and I can't remember shoulders and wrists I think just from doing the uh, daily dungeons as I was leveling up I got enough emblems to get those so I already had the tier 9 chest shoulders and wrists or hands whatever when I uh, hit 80 so that helped a lot I went into heroics obviously and he boosted me up with his uh, quite insane gear at the time he was in I think it was ICC raid gear so I joined quite late I didn't gear up that early I was ultaholic all the time I always have been I still am really that's probably my highest gear character I've ever got and uh, it's the only time I've raided really I didn't ever raid ICC I raided Alduar and uh, TOC obviously which uh, it's not that great TOC was Yuldwar was fantastic I gotta admit, but yeah, TOC was a bit of a disappointment. So. But yeah, then I stopped raiding once uh, we hit TOC. I'd obviously have done that, what was it called? Vault of Archivon, was it? I think the one where literally face roll bosses and they drop crazy loot. I must have done that every single week for three months, four months, and never ever saw a mage drop. That ICC drops never came for me, so I gave up, uh, rolled the new characters and uh, started leveling them up. Got my Shaman to 80 off soon after that, and then my Death Knight as well soon after that. So yeah, so not too bad. Oh yeah, and my Druid soon after that. So yeah, all of them were mediocre geared really, my Mage being the best one. Sat around 5k gear score I think at the end. Yeah, quite thankfully he's not used anymore gear score it was really annoying so thankfully I've got rid of that but yeah so yeah and then Starcraft 2 we both he started playing it and I started watching videos of it because he said it was really good so and then Total Biscuit obviously was playing it at the time so I thought yeah why not I'll buy it never been a huge RTS player he's never been that good at them but I bought it on like anyway and uh, turned out to love it to be honest uh, Command and Conquer, which is really the only other RTS I've played, not a huge fan of, but Starcraft is a bit more fast paced and uh, I loved it, so still play it now, I'm still horrendous at it, but you know, I'm getting there. So yeah, um, we used to talk about Starcraft quite a bit, so we used to talk about WoW, like different talents and all that, raids and stuff like that, but then since he's got into Starcraft 2 a lot, we've kind of switched over to talking about that all the time instead. Just just talking about like strats, you know, like what's good, what's not, what's count as what, you know, all that I stuff that normal Starcraft players talk about, I suppose, I with their friends. Really so yeah, and lastly, uh, Slaying Strife, it's uh, another one of my best mates. Uh, I haven't known him that long, I've known him, uh, what, two and a half years, I'd say. Uh, yeah, because uh, I started work when I left school. And uh, he was my manager. And uh, it turned out we have quite a lot in common again. He played a lot of games. He used to play Final Fantasy. Uh, I think is it 11 or 12, the online one? He played that hell of a lot. So I see Max leveled on that. It was a red mage, I think it was. He was Max leveled on. So yeah, we used to talk about that. I got him into WoW yet again. So I got put, like I got shown WoW by someone and was taken aback by it and got into it a lot. And then uh, I showed him well, and uh, it had a lot of improvements to Final Fantasy that he liked. It took him a little while to get used to it, obviously, because it is a lot different to Final Fantasy. By that, uh, there is actually quests in it, whereas Final Fantasy there isn't. It's just kill mob, kill mob, kill mob, kill mob, over and over again, which, uh, I don't know, it's not too bad. If you're in a party with some friends, then it's okay, but if you're on your own, it's really boring. Whereas WoW, I can cope on my own, although it is better. If you've got someone with you to you know, level with, you know, which, which is what we do now. We were level characters pretty much together. We've done recruit a friend twice, I think it is now. Uh, we got him his first 80. I leveled it up with uh, one of my my druid. We were a paladin druid. It's an amazing combination. Druids are insane, like healers and DPS, obviously. And paladins like, can heal themselves and tank amazingly, so... So yeah, that was quite easy to level up. At the moment we're doing the Warlock Priest, which is a little bit more challenging, but 
and the last patches and the fact that I've got heirlooms makes the priest, uh, the warlock, sorry, which I'm playing as, pretty overpowered. Does a lot of damage, and uh, I think we done like three dungeons, and I leveled up four times or something stupid because of the heirlooms, and we're in a level 15 guild, so we've got the fast track um, ability, which helps us a lot, as like a ton. As well as me getting him into WoW, I got him into COD as well, Call of Duty. Which, uh, he had an Xbox, and uh, I persuaded him to buy a Call of Duty 4, and uh, I'd help him, you know, learn the game. Because he wasn't very good at it at the start. I wasn't either. Uh, Genesis trained me, you could say. And uh, yeah, so I helped him out, get a lot better. And uh, since then, we've gone to the night release of... Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops we went to, so yeah that was it's quite fun, good experience. We've been to a night release of FIFA as well, which uh, we play a lot. It's, I used to buy FIFA every year and uh, just play you know manager mode, but then uh, Strife he loved FIFA as well, so we play FIFA together. It's another good game, really competitive though. I get quite competitive in FIFA. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for episode 16. Thanks again. Bye.